going to tell you, uh, by the way, about this guy that taught me. Taught you what now? Music. Okay, just straight theory, yeah. harmony, that kind of thing? Uh, no, it was more uh, playing in a band situation every Sunday night. Well, what happened was I was in grade school. I was still playing trombone. And uh, his name is Bob Phillips. And to the people in Indianapolis, he's uh, especially to the musicians, he's like the guru, uh, sage teacher, you know. He teaches in a very un unorthodox way. But he taught all of us just about everything we know. And uh, anyhow, I was playing a recital, uh, not a recital, one of those contests they have for, you know, you know, where you go and get a first or a second. Yeah. Yeah, so I went and played, I remember I was supposed to play Ave Maria in B flat on the trombone, simplified version. Mm hmm I was in the eighth grade. My accompanist, this chick, she didn't show up. And so I'm sitting in this classroom, and I didn't know it, but Bob Phillips is sitting there, this old guy, he's looking for new young talents. So he turned around, he was sitting right in front of me, and they called my name up. My, I said, well, my accompanist is not here, I can't play which I felt good about it because I didn't want to play anymore. <laughs> so uh, Bob uh, turned around. He says, uh, what are you playing? And I showed him. I had the sheet music there. He says, well, I'll play, I'll play for you. So he and I both went up there. <laughs> and this guy's into jazz, you know. I mean, yeah. He's into, he's into everything. I mean, he's got, well, I guess they consider him having the foremost chamber music collection of music uh, in the world. I mean, he's just got everything. At any rate, we went up there and played. He faked it. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah, and I played, and uh, I remember, I remember he played. He played something like a little kind of a jazz lick in there or something, just real quick, you know. And when he did that, I kind of responded and did a little uh, slur, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, kind of, here we are, here we are playing Ave Maria, you know. Anyhow, I got a second, but at least I got through it. He invited me. He invited me down to his B band. He called it Saturday morning to play trombone, and that's where I started going down every Saturday. And he taught all of us how to play in the ensembles. And he had a beautiful way of teaching figures. I mean, he's a genius. You know? I mean, you can graduate from uh, uh, Indiana University or Bob Phillips. Right. From, uh, as far as your schooling goes, he's a great teacher. He's still alive. Why? Why? When you say he's unorthodox, could, what? What would he do that was so much uh, that was unorthodox from, say, North Texas State, for example? Oh, well, he was totally underground. I mean, first of all, he'd, uh, it was the real shit, you know? Right. Like, uh, he, there was no time there for mistakes in reading, mm -hmm. you know? I mean, he made you play right there, even when you were just a little kid. He made you play as though you were playing a show on uh, national TV or something. We had no time for mistakes or no time for... Uh, you know, playing in a wimpy kind of way. You know? Right. He wanted it out there, and he wanted it right now. He says, uh, we want it now. If we want it tomorrow, we'd have rehearsal tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that kind of thing. So what would he do if you if you did fluff it or you oh, did? Well, you'd be in hot water. Really? Oh, yeah. How, how would he handle it? Well, he'd, he'd stop the band, single you out, you know. Yeah. Make you feel like shit right in front of everybody. <laughs> and, then, uh, and then he would never compliment you, see you go down there week after week and never say nothing. And then just about when you're fed up with him, you know, he'd, uh, he'd compliment you highly in front of everybody. Mm -hmm. You know, and boy, you just feel like a million bucks walking out. <laughs> now, did you, did you work with him at all with playing drums or, or did strictly no, with the I trombone? I was playing trombone with him right up until when I left uh, high school. Yeah. I uh, never did, uh, maybe a couple times I brought the drums down, but it was basically trombone. He never had a drums at rehearsals. He didn't believe in it. Band out of swing by itself. So wow. We want no drummer. And uh, so it was just horns. That's all it was. And our foot. You know, we tap our foot. He's a great, uh, great teacher, Scott. He really was. I'm very and, grateful to him for everything I learned from. Him. And, he, and he's still, still active. Oh yeah. Yeah. Wow. He was clearing the classical music. We had our concert band. You know, I'd go down. We do trombone trios, uh, uh, trombone quintet. Mm -hmm. You know, all kinds of classical literature. We take us to brass, uh, choir things at different churches and things. And, uh, always playing great material. I mean, he wasn't just doing it just because, uh, you know, the congregation wanted it. He was doing it to, you know, further good music.